Now, uh, just kind of looking at a brief history of, of Kava. So um, the most significant, one of the most significant events in the region was in 1872. You had uh, Joseph Ravantos, who created the very first sparkling wine by the traditional method in Catalonia. Um, uh, which is what has been very true about the connection between France and Spain. There have always been a lot of winemakers that have kind of worked cross-border and have learned techniques from certain areas. You see this in Rioja, and you see this in other regions. Uh, Cava is no different. And so the traditional method, which obviously was already in, in place in Champagne, um, but here, so he was the first one. In 1887, uh, after Phylloxera, much of Spain, and this is very true historically for Spain, so many of the regions in Spain were predominantly red wine regions. You would be surprised to know that Rias Baixas, the home of Albariño, was a red wine region before Albariño kind of took the stage. And so this is true with the Cava region as well. They, uh, they decided to uproot um, a bunch of, of red grapes and plant the three local grapes, which we'll talk about shortly. Um, and that was back in 1887. In 1959, the, it was the first time that, that the term cava became officially used to represent the region. Now, up until that point, they would call it champan or champani. And of course, because of regulations, you know, the only time you can call something champagne or any derivative of that is if it is in the region. And so the term cava came about because this is the, the it ref, referred to the caves where the, where the wines uh, and the bottles were being aged. Then you also have 1972. So 100 years later was when the Consejo Regulador officially um, established and uh, in 86, the, uh, the term cava became the official word for, the, uh, for, the, for Spanish sparkling wine made via the traditional method. Um, so 1986 is the official date of the establishment of Dio Cava, because this is when they officially were able to actually call it that. Um, you can see there's a couple of other things on here. Um, one of the things that's really interesting is everybody knows what uh, a giro palette is so it's that that big cage that moves to to riddle bottles the precursor to the giro palette was actually created by the catalans um, it was manual and so it was the manual cage that they would it would look like a big top and it, they would roll it around it was the french who actually automated that um, so it was called the girasol which is kind of crazy because the girasol in spanish is sunflower but um, it is what it is, um, so the Catalans do get a lot of credit for, for the creation uh, of that. 